boring quality YouTubing. <sighs> and I still sound miserable. And I realized in the middle of the night I forgot to close out the previous vlog. So, hey, good on me. We're already doing a good job. Glorious tea. So, good morning. Um, yes, it's morning. It's like 8.30. I keep very strange hours. If you don't know, I'm an artist. And actually, I didn't even talk to you guys yesterday about this. Hi, my name is Tree. I am a conceptual mixed media artist and illustrator and writer. And <laughs> hence the installing at the art garage yesterday. It might be helpful to put on my glasses so I can actually see y'all, right? So, yes. I don't even know what I was gonna say. This is going to be really exciting if I can't even figure out what to say. So, basically, I used to do YouTube videos for... Uh, YouTube video reviews of things for an online magazine called The Rainbow Hub. It, that's kind of default. It kind of exists in another thing now. But, yeah. Not anymore. And I did them for part of my art practice for a while for a thing called Project Transparency. Which I did enjoy, but I felt a lot of pressure to have really smart things to say. And, you know, sometimes you just don't have smart things to say because, well, you know. So, um, I stopped making them for a really, really, really long time. I actually have no idea how long it's been since I made a video, hence the kind of being And there, there were uh, other contributing factors, like tech being the most awful thing in the history of ever, and when you are incredibly, incredibly subsistence level poor, that doing anything you know, even thinking too hard feels like it's going to do something that's going to tip your precarious balance into places that are not really good. So, yeah, I ended up stopping doing a lot of things because of that. And I'm starting to... And it also, I have really bad depression. And I have really bad anxiety, so it was triggering all those things, and all of that triggers things like insomnia and chronic pain issues, and I've more or less been a mess since the last time I made a video. And I'm starting to sort of come out of it, which is ironic since I'm coming out of it after my dad has died. I was starting to come out of it before he died. Um, probably towards March of this year. That's the other thing. I have seasonal affective disorder. So winter, with all of its wondrous grayness and cold here in Wisconsin, means that I don't function very well. But I, I would start to come out of it, and my dad was sick, and then my dad was better, and then my dad was sick, and then my dad was better, and then my dad got sick while I was at a con, and he was getting better, and then he died, and yeah. <laughs> that was in September. It is now November 1st, and I'm still not... Grief is weird. In my, my experience, and I have other people who argue against this, but in my experience, grief doesn't actually get better, per se. It's You get used to it. Um, yeah, you, you, you get used to it to the point where you, it, it's like, it, it, it's kind of like having chronic pain issues. You get so used to the pain that until something aggravates it, you don't really realize that you're in pain. That's my experience of grief, that it, it, it becomes an ever-present ache rather than something that, that goes away. 
And it's even better because I am officially an orphan. My mother died in, God, 2002. It's been 15 years. The 15 year anniversary was actually October 18th. Um, so I, I'm an orphan now. I, I'm sure this is exactly what you expected when you clicked on this vlog. So let's do other things. Uh, today is the beginning of National Novel Writing Month. I am the ML for the Green Bay region because I hate myself evidently. So we have things to do today. We have 1,667 words of a novel to write that I, I'm a pantser and I'm kind of like eh, about what I'm writing. Um, I have art things to try and make. I have Etsy stuff. I have email. I have um, a digital art thing that is supposed to be a sh surprise if I can actually get anything done with it. Um, I just I have shows to plan. I'm part um, at the art garage. I'm a studio artist and. I am having a show in February, March, at one of the experimental galleries, which I'm actually doing it on grief. I'm the working title right now is "Grief and Buried Things," which I don't know what that's going to look like at the moment yet. I have ephemera for it, but I don't have like pieces yet. And I have con apps and the ever-present cleaning of my home studio, which is a thing is a thing with a capital thing so let us begin oh and i have to edit yesterday's vlog so yeah things to do cue montage Okay, so it's like 7, 10, 7, 7, 12 at night. <laughs> the day has been mostly me, um, as Gnome stops making any noise. And that, that is, a uh, Bug making the, the, singing the song of his people because it's almost time for dinner. Because he is a yelly, yelly, yelly McYellerson. But today has been mostly editing yesterday's vlog because it's been a really long time since I've edited anything in Premiere. So it, it took me a little bit to remember how to do the thing. Um, and I set up the Nano Discord for my region and yeah it's gonna be one of those things where I can't talk very well and uh, watched my friend Redbird just totally you know be like the peer the writing peer facilitator which was kind of nice because Redbird often thinks that they can't do the thing and they can do the thing <clears throat> and financial stuff, because, you know, fiduciary is actually not just a funny sounding word. And being yelled at by the cat a lot. <laughs> yes, this is the most rambling ramble to ever ramble, I swear. It's been a lot of really, really boring things that I didn't vlog because, mostly because I was charging my camera battery because... I forgot that you have to do that sort of thing. Quality YouTuber, that's me. But I I have had a shower, I've had dinner. Um, I need to do writing on my nano novel because I have like 150 words and I need another like 1500 words to make my word count for the day. And I still need to do some digital art stuff. And at nine o'clock, the Wednesday Club is on and I, enjoy watching slash listening to that so that's going to happen probably while I'm trying to write or digitally art so I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog now and <laughs> eh, maybe I won't close the vlog yet M maybe I will show you um, 
maybe I will show you Bug in all of his glory as he spins in place waiting to be fed. And then I will close the vlog. And just a little behind the scenes footage here. This is what I was using as my tripod just now. Two candles and a jar that I put in my bag for when I'm doing watercolor stuff. Yep, quality YouTuber. Mr. Morph singing the song of his people. You gonna spin for me? You gonna spin? Come on. Come down and spin. You're not gonna spin for me? <clears throat> You're such a weirdo. Okay, so the cat is now fed, and I'm going to go right, and the lighting in here is fantastic, and I will see you in the next vlog. Yay. Bye.